Good morning, traders. Uh, major US indexes were, were lower in a pretty choppy session on Wednesday. I think as traders position themselves for uh, today's pivotal CPI reading out of the US. Uh, tech led the declines, NASDAQ being the worst performer down uh, 162 points or 1.17%. Um, interestingly, the NASDAQ 100 closing below its 50 day uh, simple moving average for the first time since March. Um, this is on the back of a bit of AI exuberance seeming to lose steam with a industry bellwether SMCI tumbling after releasing earnings. And that also dragged down NVIDIA, which um, almost 5%, which has also been a, a big gainer because of this AI, uh, AI euphoria, I guess you'd call it. In FX markets, very quiet session. Uh, majors all pretty fairly flat on Wednesday. Um, again, the head of that US CPI, which Probably we'll see a more exciting session today. Highlights were the Japanese yen was still grinding lower. Um, seeing dollar yen pushing to test the August highs and continuing, it seems, its inevitable march to the test of Bank of Japan at that 145 uh, intervention level. But today, CPI obviously will play a big part of that, big part of that in the near term. Aussie, Aussie dollar drifted lower again, Aussie US, uh, sour risk sentiment really weighing on that. Still stubbornly holding that major support at 65 uh, US cents. Um, this could be an under serious test tonight, serious test of the Aussie dollar bulls or if that uh, US CPI comes in hot. Uh, commodities, we saw some big moves in oil, uh, surged again on Wednesday, breaking through that major resistance at around 83.68, hitting highs not seen since, seen since November last year. So hit the May 2023 highs overnight. Uh, the daily RSI has really moved to a, an extreme overboard level, so could um, predict a, a maybe a little pullback in oil there for a tech, on a technician standard point of view. Uh, continuing yields and the US dollar grinding higher, did see gold continuous downtrend as well. XAU USD pushing through that 1920 US dollars an ounce level uh, into that chop range we saw back in June and July. And so 1902 looks like the next major support and there's really fresh air under there from a chartist point of view. So that'll be a critical level to watch tonight with the CPI figure. The, today's calendar, obviously CPI will dominate that. Um, there are a few more data points before the Fed's next meeting in September, but this will be uh, one of the big ones to shape the market's expectations of, of, of what they do in that meeting.